Hello YouTubers and YouTubettes, welcome back to another episode of Shelby's Garage. <clears throat> In this episode I'm going to be showing you um, how to get an amalgam out of mercury, which I've already cleaned my mercury. Uh, but then I'm going to show you my homemade retort and uh, how to uh, retort mercury. Um, my homemade retort works very good. I've seen a lot of people with like the uh, pig style retorts or whatever and um, to where like they have the galvanized cup on one side and then the mercury comes out the opposite side and they just don't seem like they work that great. Mine takes all of about 10 minutes to use and uh, you can use a torch on it or you can use a fire on it. Like uh, if you're outside up, up in the mountains or whatever it, and it works great. Um, so anyways, I digress. What I'm going to be doing is um, this is a piece of a cloth shirt right here, and so I'm just going to strain the mercury out, uh, and then it'll leave me with an amalgam in the um, shirt, and so then I'm going to take that amalgam and wrap it in a paper towel, and uh, and then I'm going to weigh it also, and um, when I get to that point, I'll be right back, and uh, I guess as a quick disclaimer, mercury is actually pretty safe if you're not dumb about it. Uh, you can see right now my mercury is underwater, and then I've got it in one dish, two dish. So that way if I spill, it goes into another dish so it's easy to clean up. You keep it underwater, you don't have to worry about vapors. So, And then if you wear gloves, you really have, it can't really harm you. And um, it's the same with how my retort works, is it, it puts all the steam into water, and so no mercury vapors can ever escape. And so, I'll show you how this all works. We'll be right back. Alright, so an algum weighs 4.95. And so, uh, let me get my retort and I'll be right there with it. Alright, so here's my retort. And um, so, it's just a uh, stainless steel. This is just a tube with a cap on one end. And then you see I cut a couple little notches on this end. And so then... This is just a little dish on a stand, and so then um, you put your amalgam right there. And so then you take this, and it goes over the top like that. And so now, say like if you have your torch on, like say the left side, so then you're gonna want this on the opposite side, so that way you'll heat up right here, and it's the closest to the stem on the inside. And so now I need to fill up down here with about an inch or two of water, uh, maybe three inches, because once I start heating this up, it's going to create a vacuum, and some of the water is going to go up in the tube, and it'll be about up to about here. And um, so then you just burn it with a torch until it gets nice glowing red right here. It takes about ten minutes or so. And then you take the top off, and all the mercury is down in the water, and the gold's sitting in the dish all nice and shiny. Um, so I'll get some water in this and I'll get it set up and then I'll show you that. Alright, so you can see now I've got it set up, torching. And so now if you wanted to use like a outside actual fire, you could literally just set up a little stand right here and build a charcoal fire around your little water bucket. You'd have to have a metal bucket though, probably and then have a fire right there and uh... yeah so that's how it works it's pretty freaking slick and you can see that the switch on the bottom um, the back side bubbling a little bit it's creating a vacuum but that's why those slits are in the bottom of that tube so that way the air pressure bleeds out easier and um... so i did some research online before i ever made this thing and it said uh, to that stainless steel wasn't the better of the steels to use, but you have to use the steel. And I found that stainless steel was better for me, and the reason that is, um, so the first time you use it, you you lose a little bit more mercury because it kind of amalgams to the inside of the tube. But then after that, your uh, recovery rates are really high, uh, in the 90 percentage area for sure. And so. This thing works great, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, it cost me all of $10 to make. 
And it's all stainless steel, all welded up. Yeah, I just can't beat it. Alright, so it's been about 10 or 15 minutes, and so I'll, um, I'm letting it cool off. It was red hot, but stupid camera didn't film when I was trying to, and so. Oh well. But, uh, anyways, once that's cooled off, I'll take it off and we'll take a peek on what's in there. Be right back in a few minutes. Well, here's what I got out 1.58, and, uh, you can see it's gold, still got a little just napkin char on it. But yeah. And this little chunker. And then uh, as far as that guy goes. All the mercury is down in the water and just gotta gather it up. And it'll be ready to use again. And that's that. Well, have a good one and thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And uh please comment. I'd love to hear some hear something from you. Bye.